Right everyone, here we are at the fabulous Maver Hayfield Lakes. We're fishing on Adams Lake and I'm here and I'm fishing with the new Reality Plus rods. And as you can see, these three rods are made for commercial fishing. They come in 9, 10 and 11 foot, so there's, there's three different sizes. 9 foot is for snake lakes, fishing up to little islands. 10 is probably fishing up to 30 meters out and then your 11 foot is for fishing further than that so when I when I pick a rod up distance wise that's all it's about really but what I like in a commercial rod is I like them soft so the bend up away through so you can fish little hooks fine lines now these like I said they vary between 75 and 80 quid and let me tell you for that price I'll challenge these rods just about against anything they're fantastic look at action on that it's bending nearly all the way through, so you can hook a carp and you know you've got, even if you've got a little hook on or fine lines, you know that it's, it's going to take your time and use the action of the rod. And they're lovely. And as you can see, I've got my feeder at the moment and I'm playing a little carp about four pound. Now at the moment I'm using, there you go, look, there we go. Nice fish, oh it's a bit bigger than that, it's probably five pound. Nice fish. So, on this one I'm using Reality Plus 10 foot because I'm fishing probably 15 metres out and it's just, for me, the 10 foot is the perfect rod. But if you're going to use the 9 foot, it's for snake lakes and short fishing, maybe on a pole line or something like that. Calm down my little beauty, that's it. I'll have you back in a minute. And, uh, and, the tw and the 11 foot, is it just fishing a bit further out for distance more than anything? Come on, calm down. Calm down, my little beauty. And as you can see, you probably see as it... Got it, there you go. Right inside the little lip there. So a nice mirror, five pound, might, even, might be a bit bigger than that. A little beauty. There we go. So, if you're in the market for a new rod and you're looking at the kind of budget between 75 and 80 pound, make sure that you're going to your local Maver dealers, have a look at the 9, the 10 and the 11 foot rods. You won't be disappointed. For commercial fishing, they're fantastic. Make sure you have a look at them. So, when I'm preparing my feeder, I think there's three points, main points to it when you feed a fishing. One is the preparation of the feeder here now around you. To it, how it hits the water, so it's got to go plop and not splosh. And the third one, don't move the feeder. But this is the most important, how you prepare it. You've got, I've got a nice red hook bait with a size 16. When I get the feeder, the best types of feeder, the easiest types of feeder to use is the Banjo Juro style feeder. And all I do then, I just fill it up, so it's just a little bit over, press on it, so it's flat. And then I get the hook, and I press the hook into the, into the pellets. So if you turn it over, it won't fall. But I want to cover that, because I want it to get to the bottom before all the pellets spout out. So I'll get some more pellets then, which are two mils, and I press it once and press it twice. So I can't quite see the hook bait. You can't see it there. So then the next thing is to bring it back and when I'm casting, aim your rod and your arm, face your target that you're going to go to, bring it back, cast it so it hits the water, plop. And if I've got that little plop, it's really important that because I know that it's landed the right way on the surface. If it goes splosh, it's knocked all the bait off and you've got to start again. When it gets to the bottom, whatever you do, you don't move it. And then all you do, you put it on your rod rest and you wait for a bite. 
And with these Reality Plus rods, the soft, the commercial rods, it's really important. So when you get a bite, the rod will go round and, and the cushion then effect then is in the rod and you can play the fish on the cushion effect of the rod. And that's the beauty about them, is they're lovely and soft and that's what I like in a commercial rod. It's nice and soft and a nice through action. And then all you've got to decide, is it 9, 10 or 11? And that's all you've got to do really. Well, Rod nearly got dragged in there. That were a proper bite. That, <laughs> that definitely hooked itself. It's a carp. It's not a massive fish, but it feels like four pound. What I'm trying to do now is use the bend of the rod to play the fish. Keep it nice and low. And, let, and, let, and when the fish gets swimming towards you, you can bring the fish in and swim towards it. Just take your time. Use the bend of the rod. Like, look, at, look at the bend. It's bending all the way to nearly to the book section. And then when it comes up, it should just come up in front of you. But one of the things I like about these, that, that, that for me, this is the, almost a perfect action. It's lovely and soft all the way through. And you just take your time and wait for the rod, the fi sorry, the fish to come close. And then when it comes close, you can lift him up. And look at that, look at that for an action. And let, and let the rod do all the work. And that's what you're trying to do. That's why I, I like a soft one. Let the rod do the work. There you go, look. Four pound it. And my little banjo. Perfect. I've got to say, that is a cracking action for a rod. On a commercial fishery, you won't get a better action from any rod up market in that price range. And today, what we're catching them on is a red, a little red band and bait, a little speedy red, like that one. But there we go. Not a big fish, but when you match fishing, when you match fishing, just put them in net and smile. <laughs> there we go. Now, one of the things when I'm fishing feeder, I like to lose feed over the top. So I'm casting my feeder over the top. What I like to, I like to get them fizzing on the in the mud and. And sometimes the best way of catching them is with a feeder over the top of them loose feed. But sometimes it's better with a bomb. So I'm going to catch this fish, I'm going to net him, put him back. Because I'm still on the feeder and then I'm going to show you my bomb set up. So when I'm actually fishing I have two rods set up. One with bomb and one with feeder. And sometimes one's better than the other. You've just got to work out which is best on day. But if you know how to do both, it's not a problem. So here we go. I think this one's a... Probably four or five pounder. But the main thing is to keep loose feeding pellets all, all time over the same line. And I, like I said, I like to get them fizzing in the mud. If I get them fizzing, I'm more than happy because I know that the feeding, oh, it's bigger than I thought that. There you go. Little five or six pounder. Now that's on the little banjo style feeder or the juro, some people call banjo, some of juro. Oh, so calm down. So, there we go. We'll put him back to catch him another day. And that's my feeder set up. So what I'm going to show you now is how I set my bomb up. And at Maver, we've got these new MVR Finesse inline bombs. They come in 6, 8, 10 and 15. The 6, 8 and 10, you use... A lot of time they make the same noise. The idea is to make the same noise as a pellet hitting the water, that's the idea. But the 15 gram is when you want to fish on the bottom. Places like Afield where it's deep, it's very rarely I use a smaller one, I use a 15 gram. Now, the, the idea of these is the free running. They've got a bigger hole in the bottom of the lead, so they actually go onto your quick change bead and they can sit inside. So 
some people like that setup so it actually locks when you get a bite. Personally, I prefer the free running ones so it comes out nice and smooth. So you can actually put them in and make them tight if you want or you can just leave them a little bit slacker and they're more free running. But them little bombs are fantastic. 30 centimetre up length uh, with, with a, a 16 and a, and a pellet. If you're firing sixes in or you're firing eights in, use the same, same size pellet that's going in, all, in between all them loose offerings. Then all you do, bring it back and cast it over the top of the pellets, let it hit the bottom, sink your line, just hit the bottom now. So because I've got pellets falling through, you're trying to get your pellet in them pellets that are falling through and sometimes the fish come in and pick yours out straight away. And then you just be there and be patient. So that's my setup. So my setup is, is quite simple. A feeder and a bomb. You've got the two set up. Wherever you're going to fish, you get the catapult, you put some pellets in and you fire them where you think the fish are going to feed. Usually it's just a nice catapult length. Not, don't try and overdo it, keep it so they're more concentrated. Fire them in and then over that line you can cast your feeder over them or you can cast a bomb. So you've got the, the options of two. And of course, you go back to the Reality Plus rods. If I were fishing that line with two rods, I'd usually want the same length rods, like I'd have two 10 foot set up, or I'd have two nine, or I'd have two 11, depends on the distance. But both rods, the Reality Plus, nine, 10 and 11, they can do both things. They can fish the feeder, and they can fish the inline bomb. It covers all your options. So just go out and try them. There we go. Straight round up bomb. So we've had some up feeder and I've cast out up bomb and we've had two. This is a better fish this one. But look at that rod, nice and soft. It's taking all the action out of the fish. Letting the rod do the work, just like you do with your pole elastic if you're fishing a pole. And then just, just take your time and wind in nice and steady. This is a big fish this, this is a, might be a 10 pounder and the rod's handling it perfect. Just keep it nice and low and let the fish swim towards you. So keep the rod to the side so you're using the bend and when it swims you just wind nice and steady and then eventually what happens is It'll pop up in front of you. Like that, I can just see it under water now. The fish is now here. I brought it all the way in by using the rod and letting it swim with, with the action of the rod. And when it gets inside here, you can lift your rod up and, and bring it up. Now these rods I'm actually using. Oh, there you go, look, nice little mirror again. I'll see mirrors today. I'm using these rods as well with these new MVR reels. We do two sizes, three or four thousand. The three thousand sizes for small distances or the waggler. And the four thousand is for fishing further out and a bit more power for fishing, for carp fishing. But the MVR reels, they're a cracking reel. They're a great combination to go with your Reality Plus rods. So you've got a nice balance and a nice action. There we go. Well, we've got them feeding really nice on them loose feed pellets. And um, to be honest with you, I caught some on the feeder. Look at that, bit of gut, bit of orange in him. Typical hayfield beauty. You want me to do it now? Yeah. All right. So, let's have a little recap. I'll start again. So, let's have a little recap. There's three rods in the range. You've got nine, you've got 10, and you've got 11. They're the commercial range. 
the Reality Plus 9, 10 and 11. They vary between 75 and 80 quid. The fantastic all round rods for fishing on commercials. But we've also got a Reality Plus 12 and 13 foot that are more powerful. These are made for either really long distance feeder fishing or fishing on rivers. And guess what? We're doing a little video in it a little bit later on where we're going to show you how and when to use these rods. But on a commercial, 9, 10, 11, Reality Plus and your excess <coughs> are more distance fishing and river fishing, which we'll show you in another little DVD. So, if you're in the market for a new rod for commercial fishing, go in your local Maven stockist, have a look at them and I promise you, you won't be disappointed.